I think I finally snapped. Not emotionally, well, may maybe a little bit, but mostly financially. Because every time I blink, something else has become a subscription. Want to watch that one show? Wrong platform. Want to use Photoshop? Subscription. Want to breathe? That'll be $14.99 a month. So I did something radical. I left. The ecosystem, that is. This is my story of ditching the never-ending subscription hamster wheel, discovering Linux, and building my own tools, and preparing to fully embrace the holy temple of nerdum, home labbing. It all started innocent enough. I had Netflix, then some of the shows I wanted moved to HBO, and then Apple TV and Prime and Disney Plus, and suddenly I'm paying more for streaming than my parents paid for cable. But it didn't stop there. Uh, Adobe removed the ability to buy Photoshop, Microsoft pushed everything to Office 365 subscription. Every tool I used slowly became a SaaS opportunity. A phrase that now triggers me uh, in a way that pop quizzes used to trigger me in school. I kept thinking, why am I renting every part of my digital life? So I did what any sane person would do. I started building my own tools instead. I founded a non-profit called Trider. The goal? To build open source tools that people could use for free or self-host them. They can customize it without paywalls, without ads, and most importantly, without subscriptions. Project management, invoicing, bookkeeping, real tools for real people. And because I want them to be accessible anywhere, anytime, on any device, browser-based, if your toaster can run Chrome, it can run Drider. This mission got me thinking seriously about something I'd always been curious about but never really dove into, Linux. Enter Linux Mint Cinnamon, a beautiful, clean, customizable operating system that, get this, lets me use my computer the way that I want. No forced updates, no surprise restarts, no ads begging me to sign up for Office 365, no AI trying to predict how many brain cells I have left after Windows installs OneDrive. I was determined. Linux was going to work for me. And honestly, after a few user error moments, which we don't talk about, it's been running flawlessly. It hit me how far Windows has gone into locking users into its ecosystem. OneDrive has literally become part of the file system. AI is everywhere, even if you don't want it. Hey, do you want to install Bing as part of your taskbar? No, Microsoft, I want peace. Linux feels like a stepping stone outside for the first time after living in a mall for 20 years. It's fresh, it's quiet, and no one's trying to sell me something every time I open the folder. And now, I'm heading towards the holy grail of nerd evolution, a home labbing. Hosting my own files, my own media library, my own office suite, no subscriptions, no companies mining my data, just me, my server, and probably way too many Docker containers. I've already been studying, and I'm ready. Switching to Linux isn't about being edgy or anti-corporate, it's all about choice, the freedom to use your computer without being monetized, the ability to build and host your own tools, and the right to step out of an ecosystem that feels more like a cage every month. And this journey isn't over, I'm planning videos on my Linux setup, the tools I rely on, how I'm building Trider, and the full home lab build from start to finish, when I finally get there. So if you're sick of subscriptions, or curious about Linux, or just want to see me accidentally burn a motherboard or two, <laughs> stick around. It's gonna be fun.